Hello and welcome to this yin yoga sequence. Uh, this will be my wife's first time doing yin, I believe, and also blindfolded. Today's topic is pratyahara. Pratyahara. It is a limb, one of the limb, one of the eight limbs of uh, yoga, and. It's the uh, withdrawal of the senses, and the best way to do that for yoga is to be blindfolded. Maybe you could put some headphones on, but then you wouldn't be able to hear me well. Um, so, we're gonna start off uh, putting our blindfold on. <laughs> our cats will be running in and out probably, but um, just uh, find a comfortable seat and have your pillows uh, within reach, but you don't have to be using them right now. And we, we are gonna just do a short guided meditation to get settled into the body, if that's okay with you. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> I'm putting yoga on my watch. Okay. <laughs> All right, so an easy seat. You can have your hands wherever you can feel most comfortable. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, take a few rounds of breath here to settle into the body. Understand and bring your awareness to your surroundings. Notice any sensations that you may feel in your body. Quick scan from your head to your toes. Try not to focus too much on external forces and focus more internally. But you don't have to block out anything that you hear or smell or taste. Just notice them but always bring your awareness back into your body. Take a few more rounds of breath here. first pose we're going to get into is Sphinx Pose. So Sphinx Pose, where how we can start you out is first come lying onto your stomach. <laughs> okay, and then, so tuck in your elbows. You know, you know, no, yeah. And you know the, uh, the Sphinx statue in Egypt or whatever? Mm -hmm. So pick up your chest while leaving the rest of your body flat on the ground, pick up your chest, but keep your elbows on the floor and keep your, try to visualize your arms staying at a 90 degrees. So we'll be here in Sphinx Pose for the next few minutes. Um, what you want to feel is a somewhat passive, but also slightly active engagement where you can hold this pose for a few minutes at a time. Not too much sensation, almost little to no sensation. When you sit in some of these poses, sometimes they can be uncomfortable. And if they're not uncomfortable, just try to find your edge. You can let your head hang down a little bit if it's comfortable. your body, see how you're feeling. Ask yourself, can I hold this pose for the next couple minutes? If you want more sensation at any point, you can lift your chest higher. If you need to relax it, chest can come down. You 
Continue deep breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Take this time while you're breathing to ask yourself if there's anywhere else in your life you want to um, bring more stillness. practice is finding stillness. We want to be comfortable with just like an edge of uncomfortableness. And a few more deep breaths here. And on your next exhale, Come down lower onto your stomach. Slowly. There we go. And then um, we'll go right into child's pose. So, child's pose, you'll bring your big toes to touch, bring big toes to touch each other, and you will sit back on your heels. So, yeah, you'll come up and you'll sit, sit on your heels. Well, big toes are touching, and make sure there's a little more room in front of you. Um, so you'll you'll bend over and over your uh, hips or your thighs. So let me show you. So you'll bend over here. And you'll bring your arms forward, and this is child's pose. Let me see. This is child's pose, and if you like to slowly sink in deeper, you can reach your arms out further if you want. If, if your knees are uncomfortable, you can bring the two small pillows underneath. Whatever is comfortable for you, whatever you feel like you may be able to hold for the next few minutes. I should play some music, some calming music. Notice the sensations that flow in and through your body.
next inhale. Um, I did forget to do a little bit of warming up of the spine, but we can do that here. On your next inhale, come to a tabletop position, but slowly coming out of your child's pose. You know, tabletop? No? Okay. So come up onto your knees. And so your, your hands are below your shoulders, and your knees are below your hips. And if you would like to do some hip circles, that's just kind of rotating your body. <laughs> it's okay. We'll do cats and cows. So on your inhale, you'll arch your spine back. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> On your inhale, you arch your spine down and bring your head towards the sky, rounding your back. And then on your exhale, you'll tuck your chin in and round your back like a cat. So, in, and then alternate. Inhale, cow, exhale, cat. You can do this at your own pace. If you want to stay in one position, you can do that. I don't know, I'm just, I forgot to do the warm up, so I'm trying to warm up your spine a little bit. But that's fine. We can jump straight into the next pose. So we'll do a supported caterpillar. So come to sitting on your buttocks. Straight, straight on your butt, legs in front, straight out in front of you. And this is almost like a seated forward fold. Now bring one of the big pillows to your left and put, place it on your hips or yeah, your thighs. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, straight back and exhale while trying to keep that lengthening through your spine, fold forward over your, your uh, legs and try to uh, activate your ankles. Yeah, keeping your ankles like fold forward and then when you can't go any more for further with a straight back, you can round your back. You can use a second pillow if you want, so you can rest your head on top of it. But we're going to be holding this for the next couple minutes. And find stillness. Each breath can potentially bring you closer. Your feet feel weird. If you want to grab the second pillow to your left. No? You want me to grab it? It's supported. You don't have to grab your toes. <laughs> you just have to be holding over. You'll just be basically resting on it. So just fold over. There you go. <laughs> like you don't like it? Okay. <laughs> okay, no worries. As long as you can withstand that. Is that alright? Few more rounds of breath here. And on your next inhale, you can come out of that. You can either keep your legs in front of you or you can cross your legs for a quick and easy seat. To counter this pose, we'll just do a seated twist. So inhale, lengthen through your spine. And exhale, twist to one side. Just a few rounds of breath on this side. And 
on your next inhale, slowly unwind. Exhale. And inhale, lengthen through your spine once again. And exhale to the other side. twist. Now we'll do a supported bridge pose. So you'll come lying flat on your back um, with a pillow underneath your, your uh, lumbar region. So it can be the small one, it can be the big one. The small one is right there. Bag, so. It's okay. And then, if you, if I can, move the pillow here. And you feel like there's enough arch in your spine. Like, sit up real quick. too much? No, it's fine. It's fine? And we'll just spend a couple minutes here. We want to we wanna feel or bring our awareness to the lower back. Your shoulders are crooked. Just, just bring awareness to that. No need to fix anything. My wife last night was saying that her lower back was in pain, so it still hurts. It still hurts. Um, I tried to look up some poses that may help specifically for it. But just bring your awareness to your lower back to see maybe where else you feel sensation and how much sensation. Next, exhale, you can uh, remove the pillow from under your lumbar region. And you can bring your knees to your chest to, to just, uh, and I'm going to pause the music because part of me feels like the music should not be playing right now. <laughs> You all right? And just a few breaths here. And on your next exhale, you can extend your legs out in front of you. We'll go into a reclined butterfly. So we'll be staying on our back, but we'll bring our soles of our feet together to form a, the soles of your feet. Yeah, like that. 
and bring it as close to your body as you can without helping you. Without helping you. If you want, you can place pillows underneath your knees for support. If not, the sliding away. <laughs> because the blanket here, I'll move it. Is it okay? Do you need support under your knees? Okay. And we'll just lay here for a few more minutes once again. Each deep breath, notice any sensations of any release, any tension, maybe your knees sink further to the ground, maybe your back sinks further to the ground. looking for your edge. You don't have to sit with anything that's too uncomfortable. more rounds of breath here. And whenever you feel ready, you can extend your legs in front of you, and you can sit up, or you can stay on your back. the pose will windshield wiper. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. Little windshield wipe leg side to side to just, you know, do some stuff with your back and hips. <laughs> <laughs> your windshield wipers, you can come sit up and then come close to the wall over here on your left. Oh, <laughs> <it's closer. laughs> and so what we'll do, what you'll do is um, you sit on it by, <laughs> like bring your side to it so you at least know where the wall is and then you'll shift, shift back and Throw your legs up on the wall while laying down. Your back, your your. Okay, so you're gonna lay down on your back, and your legs are gonna be up the wall. So I don't need to be on the side. No, it was kind of like a. It's just kind of a weird method. I'll put this here under your head if you need it. And try to bring your hips as close to the wall as you can if it's comfortable for you. And do you need any 
support on your back? No, you don't entirely need to, but just, it's just kind of like the forward fold of caterpillar a little bit, but now your legs are up the wall and we're switching the position. You may, at any point, you could potentially feel some release in the lower back. Um, but we're just going to hang out here for a little while. You don't, um, you don't have to, or, while your legs are up on the wall, you want to not be so engaged that you're having to work for it, but just slightly engaged that your feet just don't fall flat on, uh, to the sides or on your face. Continue to breathe and notice the sensations that you may feel. If you require any more, like you like you're if you're looking for more sensation, you, we can add weights to your feet. Too comfortable that you fall asleep. Or maybe you do. Huh? Mm. Try to become aware of the itchiness. Focus specifically on the itchiness. And isolate it like an island. It's quite common that we instantly scratch an itch that we feel. But I would say part of yin yoga can be included in all aspects of life. That once we bring awareness to something that's bothering us or itching at us, something we, we realize we are more aware of our body and we react much less. We'll just do another minute then. Without movement. I'm feeling on my feet. 
try try to take out the next thirty seconds without having to move. Okay, 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 okay. It was coming to the end anyway. Slowly bring your legs down. And to counterpose, bring your knees to your uh, armpits, each knee to each armpit, and grab your feet. Grab your feet with your hands. Yeah. Happy baby. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Breasts, and we're going to come to a fully lying position on your back. So, what does that mean? You'll be fully lying on your back. So, fully extend. Um, I would say bring your head over here on your left side. Here, let me put this big pillow here. And bring your arms by your sides, out to your sides, and your feet straight ahead of you. And we'll be here for, I'd say, a decent amount of time. But this is Shavasana. This is fully, uh, this is corpse pose. This is the end of the asana practice where you can reflect on the entire practice. You can reflect on some of the questions that I've asked. Bring awareness to your body. Just relax for the next five to ten minutes. Keep your mouth closed and breathe into your into your nose and out through your nose with a slight restriction, like breathing like Darth Vader only through your nose. You can warm up the body. Thank you. 
irritated. Little throat constriction. Are you okay with me giving you a little bit of rub to warm you up? aware of your surroundings, notice any sensations you feel in your body, notice any sounds that you may hear, any tastes you might taste, and I know you 
can't see, so bring awareness to that darkness. And start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Rotate your wrists a bit, rotate your ankles. Reflect further on your practice. Whenever you're ready, you can come out of your Shavasana, your laying position, if you want, or if you want to lay, that's okay too. <laughs> but this concludes your yin yoga practice, your pratyahara. I hope you were able to find some stillness within yourself, within your poses, a little bit of understanding within your body on maybe noticing if some places are uneven or anything but without judgment slowly you know get adjusted like you're doing now and the same thing with your blindfold at any point you can remove it but just know the brightness will be a little different Well, this concludes our yin yoga practice. I hope you enjoyed watching. <laughs> and I hope my wife enjoyed her time. She you know, she's just the guinea pig here. So maybe she liked it. Maybe she's like, I wish I never did this. But that's okay. I had to do this for homework. <laughs> but uh, I hope you have a great day. And um, thank you very much for participating in today's yoga session.